This lesson is about using Python's built-in functionality to do functional programming. Python provides a couple of important features that allow us to write functional code. The first is that functions are first-class values, meaning they can be passed around like any other value and returned and so on. The second is that these first-class functions can capture their environment, that is, functions have closures. Closures are basically a set of variables that get carried along with a function when we pass it around. Usually a variable in a function disappears when that function returns, but if an inner function references that variable, it'll be attached to the inner function and travel along with it. This is sometimes referred to as capturing the environment. This facility is used quite a bit in Python code, and we'll be seeing a lot of examples of it. First class functions with closures are really necessary to have meaningful functional abstractions, and so it's great that we have them in Python. However, at the same time, Python misses a lot of the features that are commonly useful in functional programming. First, it doesn't have a strong library of pure functions. Most of the standard library is very object-oriented and imperative. It doesn't have efficient immutable data structures, and it doesn't have cheap recursion. The first two of these things can be remedied with third-party libraries, and there are even tricks for dealing with recursion in efficient ways in Python. But in this lesson, I'm going to focus on what Python itself provides us for functional programming. It'll also serve as an introduction to some common concepts of functional programming in general. Other lessons will cover what we can do with a larger ecosystem by using third-party libraries. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.